In this video, I'll be explaining what happens when you don't eat enough protein. My name is Nathan Rosario and I am a holistic nutritionist and best-selling author here in New York City. And in this channel, I discuss everything about nutrition, fitness, and exercise that'll help you melt that fat off. And if you're into that, please consider subscribing. My mission is to inspire you to become the healthiest version of yourself using the power of nutrition. And if you're someone who's looking to lose weight and adopt a healthy lifestyle, I wrote a book, Health Freedom, Your Way to Successful You. In this book, I discuss everything that I went through to lose more than 100 pounds and keep it off. And if you read my book, I really appreciate it. What determines if you gain weight or lose weight is the amount of calories. Before I tell you what happens if you don't eat enough protein, you must understand the basic concepts of calories in and calories out. Calories matter the most most of the time if you need to gain weight you just need to eat more than what you're doing now and if you need to lose weight you just need to eat less than what you're doing now and if you have no idea of the amount of calories that you need to eat you can go right on my website so i would have a calorie calculator where you can put your height your age your weight and your activity level or have an estimate of how many calories you need to eat to maintain gain or lose weight after you know how many calories you need in a day and you have a pretty rough idea on what you can eat, what you cannot eat and what works for you, then you can start worrying about protein. So protein is very important for muscle growth, muscle recovery, muscle regeneration, creating new tissue. You can think about protein as Legos. They're the building blocks of our body. You need protein to be able to build, repair uh, and manufacture things in your body. So let's start if you don't train at all. So if you're not training at all and you're just a person who doesn't exercise, you're just a regular person who sits a lot, maybe you walk sometimes, I would say 0.5 grams of protein per day is more than enough for you since you're not active and you're not breaking down your muscle consistently and you're not putting your body through stress in a way that it'll break down your own muscle you can get away with eating a little bit less protein but most people that watch my channel they're really health oriented you either do cardio or lift weights so let's start with the most common one lifting weights when you lift weights you're breaking down your muscle you're creating muscle tears in your body even on your first set when you're warming up you're already breaking the muscle down so it is very important that you eat enough protein to recover from your workout to be able to do that workout again or be able to go back the next day uh, to the gym and have enough energy if you do not eat enough protein when you're lifting weights at first you are gonna grow muscle because you are training your body uh, through stimulus your body will do the best that it can do to adapt. It's gonna come a point where your body's not gonna be able to build enough muscle and it's not gonna be able to maintain lean body mass. And if you just eat all your diet full of carbs and fat and not enough protein, you're just gonna end up becoming skinny fat because you're gonna be gaining weight, but it's not gonna be the type of weight that you want. Even if you're lifting weights, you're not gonna be eating enough protein to maintain your lean body mass. What about if you do a lot of cardio? I have a very good experience with this because I used to run 40 miles every other day and now I ride about 150 miles every single week on my bike and it's something that I really enjoy to do so I have a very good understanding. If you're just an endurance athlete, you can get away with eating less protein than a bodybuilder. You know, a bodybuilder should be good with 0.8 grams per pound of body weight a cyclist a runner a person who just does cardio can cut back a little bit from the protein and eat a little bit more carbs because your body will be using your cardiovascular system instead of your muscle most of the times that you are on your bike or when you are on your run so you need to fuel your cardiovascular system you need to give your body enough carbohydrates or enough fuel to run but also protein is still really important because you know there's gonna be a lot of body adaptation there's gonna be a lot of muscle usage right so your muscle is still gonna be broken down especially if you're a runner you're smashing your leg all the time on the ground you're gonna be creating a little bit of muscle tear you're probably gonna be sore the next day you still need to make sure you eat enough protein to maintain your body mass uh, even though, you know, if you're just doing cardio, being lean and being the lightest that you can be, it's good. But, you know, there's going to come to a point that is not beneficial to you anymore because it'll start hurting uh, your health. Overeating protein is not a bad thing. 
there's having a lot of studies and research proving that it's not harmful for your kidneys and i was on the ketogenic diet for like a year and a half and i stopped doing it about a year but i was eating mostly almost carnivore i had no protein issues so if i can overeat protein and i am just a regular person with regular genetics you can also overeat protein if you enjoyed this video please hit the like button hit the subscribe button notification bell because i'll be putting out weekly videos just like this one to inspire you to become the healthiest version of yourself using the power of nutrition and if you want to learn something new right now, here's two videos on the screen where you can learn something new right now. I love every single one of you.